Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase of Rocky Mountain. Thank you for checking into our YouTube channel. Today we're showing you the new comp boot from Fox Racing. So for 2023, Fox has gone through and completely revamped their whole boot lineup. You now have the Instinct, which has also been updated. You have the Motion that sits below that, and now you have the Comp. And I'm gonna say it, I'm very happy to see them go through and redesign their whole lineup. So they had the previous comp boot, which I actually did ride in. And I'm not saying it was a bad boot, but there's definitely some things about it that I think needed to be improved, even for an entry level boot. And all the things that I felt needed to be addressed, which I will talk about, they have updated that with the comp. So I think this for a lot of riders, you know, your entry level riders looking for a good boot on a budget, this is gonna be in that mid $200 range. This should be one on your list. I think they did a lot of good things here. And what's cool is that, for the new boot lineup, from the Instinct all the way down to the Comp, they all look very similar. So if you see the top guys out there, the Kenny Roxons, Tim Geiser, the Pro Circuit guys wearing the new Instinct and think, you know what, I really like that boot, but it's out of your price range and you want one that's gonna be similar and have a lot of the same features, but at a much lower price, well, this could be a really good option for you. And also what's nice too is that with the whole new lineup, something the big that Fox is pushing is just the overall fit of their boots. So what they've done is they went to Italy, they found a company there that kind of specializes in foot molds and boot molds and so forth. And they made a single mold for all three of their boots. So the comp, the motion and the instinct, they all share what they call the, the same last, which is just to say that is the same mold. So the fit on all three is going to be the same, which I think is awesome. So now you're not guessing well, you know, if I have, maybe you get the, the comp at first and then later on you want to upgrade to the motion, well, you know the fit's going to be the same. And they also address some of the things. So with the comp, I don't think it was as big of a deal as say with the previous Instinct, but they did widen the toe box a little bit and the length on all their boots is going to fit true to size. So if you wear a size 9 or a 10 and a Nike or an Adidas, get the same size boot. Another cool update too with the 23 lineup is that they're going to offer half sizes. So if you're right in between a nine and a 10, there's gonna be a nine and a half. They're gonna have a half size for a nine, 10 and 11. And to go along with that, we have our fit guarantee. If you buy these, so let's say you get a size nine and there's a little bit too small, you wanna to go to size nine and a half, send those back in brand new unused condition and we will ship you the size that you need and we'll give you free shipping both ways on that first exchange to make sure you do get the size and the fit that you are looking for. But what's nice is one of the big issues that I had with the previous comp is that the toe box to me was just a little bit too big, too bulky. I remember riding it and I was missing a few shifts, just didn't have the feel and the low profile toe box that I would be looking for. Now again, you know, I'm used to riding in premium boots so I gotta cut a little slack there, but I like the overall design of this. Again, it looks similar to the motion, the instinct, the toe box on this is a lot more low profile, which means it's gonna be a lot easier to get this thing underneath your shifter when you're getting those up shifts. And since, since it is sharing the same mold as the other two, your foot's gonna sit nice and low. And so that's also gonna help with the peg feel. So you just know where your feet are at on your control. So overall, that is one aspect about this new comp that I really do like. You've got a good amount of ink or padding around the ankle area. Again, like I said, the toe box is nice and wide. What's also nice though is that, you know, compared to some of the other entry level boots that I've tried on, these hold the ankle in place really well. So I didn't feel like my ankle was just loose, kind of moving around a lot inside there. So I was able to snug the buckles down nice and snug, get everything exactly how I'd want it. Also, what's kind of nice is the calf opening on these is nice and large. So for riders with larger legs, if you're wearing a knee brace, you should be okay there. But also a little kind of feature they took from the instinct is that on the inside, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but right in the heel area, you actually have, and you're not gonna be able to see it so dark. We'll get a shot for you. But there's actually a piece of suede that is right here on the back of the heel. And the purpose for that is just to help keep your heel down. So it's gonna offer a little bit more friction. And again, we're talking about heel float here, which is a pet peeve of mine. I hate it when I have a pair of boots on and feel like my heel is just kind of floating around and lifting off the, the footbed. That suede is in there just to help alleviate that and keep your foot in place as best as possible. So another little upgrade as far as the fit goes. All right, now when it comes to construction, you're gonna get a mixture here. You got microfiber as your base material. You've got TPU, which you're gonna see here over top the toe box as it wraps around to the inside. Then you've also got some areas of hard plastic, mainly right here in the front with this big old shin plate to help with some impact protection there. Something also that I kind of like about the Fox boots is you notice here that there's plenty of flexibility on top. And the reason that I like that is when you're shifting, especially up shifting, 
It's just gonna help you have a little bit more feel on the shifter. So again, we're talking about feel on the control. So that's one aspect about these I actually do like. So the buckle design. Same buckle design as the Motion and the Instinct. Biggest difference being here, so four buckles, is that you're gonna have plastic buckles versus metal on these, but they are replaceable. But what's nice though is that they updated the buckle design for their whole lineup. And this was another aspect that I think was a big improvement for them. The previous buckles were just a little bit short. You didn't have a lot of leverage. And sometimes if they do get dirty, a little bit hard to snap down. And just the way the design was, it honestly kind of hurt your finger a little bit when you're trying to grab those and lift them up or even snap them down. So this design just gives you a lot more leverage, easier to snap down, easier to grab when you want to pop it up. But you're just going to take your strap, drop it in there, snap it down so very easy to operate. As far as the liner on the inside, moisture wicking into microbial. If we flip to the medial side here, you've got that TPU that wraps around the inside, comes all the way up to the top. So that's going to give good durability with these. Now one thing I would point out is that when you take the comp and you compare it to the Motion or the Instinct, you'll notice on these that there is no hinge system. So that is one thing that you are giving up when you go with an entry level boot is that there's no pivot points on the medial or the lateral side. And Really, what you're giving up there is this boot is not going to have as much flexibility. Even after it breaks in, it's still going to be pretty stiff. And it's not going to give you as much lateral support in the ankle as the Motion or the Instinct because they have that hinge design with the plastic that wraps around. But you got to remember who this boot is for. This is for the entry level rider, the weekend warrior, who's not maybe going at those higher speeds, not doing bigger jumps, who's going to be okay not having as much support for the ankle as those two. But if you are looking for a little bit more flexibility, and you want the most support possible, then yeah, jump up to the Motion or the Instinct. You can watch the product supplies that we have on those to decide if that is an upgrade that you do want to make. But overall, even not having that hinge system, it does have pretty good support for the ankle laterally, which you tend to not see sometimes with entry level boots. And it is pretty stiff. That's something you're gonna notice. It does take a little bit of time for these to break in, so just be patient there. All right, as far as the sole goes, so they're using what they call their Pause Attack rubber on here, which is just a nice grippy rubber material. And honestly, just feeling it with my fingers, you can feel that. Is it, it is a very grippy material that's going to offer great traction on the foot pegs. Another cool thing too with the comp, and again, this is something that you might not see with most entry level boots, is that the sole is replaceable. But what they're doing differently now, and this goes from this all the way up to the Instinct, is they're not just allowing you to replace just this little center insert right here. Instead, if you wear it through the sole, what you do is you buy a new sole and then you take it to a shoe cobbler and what they're going to do is actually take this entire piece off and they're going to replace the entire outsole. And they say that one, that makes it a little bit easier for the shoe cobbler to do that, but also that's just going to give you more longevity. Instead of just being able to replace one center piece, you get a whole new sole on there, which I think is going to be good. You also do have a shank inside here, but they're not using steel. They're actually using a fiberglass nylon reinforced shank inside the boot, which couple things just gonna offer more support for your foot, but also as you get farther up into the toe box area, that shank actually gets thinner, and that's just gonna help with the flexibility and help with that peg feel that I was talking about. On the back side here, you've got a reinforced heel cup, a little bit of plastic impact protection here on the back of the calf, but again, that's another big upgrade that you would see if you bumped up to the motion of the Instinct because they have that hinge design that wraps around the back of the leg, you are gonna get a little bit more impact protection on the back of the calf as well. But overall, solid boot. For the price, for what you're getting, I think they did a really good job. Last thing I will mention too, is that there is the Comp X version. So if you like this, but you want more of an off-road sole, a lug sole design that's gonna get better traction if you're off the bike, muddy conditions, if you're doing foot plants on rocks, logs, things like that, if you're doing more enduro style riding and you want a little bit more grip on the sole, check out the Comp X. They also have the Motion X as well. But as for the comp, like I said, for 2023, completely redesigned. Everything about this boot has been improved in my opinion. I think it's gonna be very popular. So again, if you're shopping for an entry level boot in that mid 200 price range, this is one that you definitely wanna check out. If you wanna see all the colorways and grab yours today, click on the link or just head to RockyMountATVMC.com. We ship for free over 75 bucks. If you like this video and you wanna stay up to date on products spotlights like this, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and you'll always be up to date. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.